all you do is you click finish. And sometimes what happens is it says it, it wasn't able to, uh, you know, if they're really bad, they're still running. Some of the spyware programs are still running. If that's the case, then it will not be able to remove it or detect it or quarantine it. Not, it'll be able to detect it. It won't be able to remove it or it won't be able to uh, quarantine it just because it's running and you can't do anything with programs that are running and delete or quarantine. So uh, it'll ask, do you want to uh, do another scan upon reboot? And what'll and you say yes to that, um, definitely. And then you and then you uh, reboot the computer and have it do its scan. And what it's going to do is it's going to start its scan before it fully boots up in Windows. And that way, uh, it when it finds what it's looking for, when it finds the spyware that it could not delete, it'll be able to delete it because it's not fully booted up yet. You know, you're not fully into your computer yet, so that spyware has not had a chance to start up yet. Um, it sets, you know, some spyware is set to start up right when you boot up your computer, but you know, when you uh, don't boot it up yet, and uh, Adware stops it and it starts doing the scan, it can get rid, of, it can remove it. Okay, so that's Adware. Uh, so I will get rid of. Uh, so that's done. Um, and the second program is Spybot. But I'm going to uh, make a second video for that because this one is running close to 10 minutes and that's actually, you know, I can keep going. Okay, so uh, SpyBot is, uh, is the second one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to install SpyBot. Click OK. Next. I accept the agreement. Uh, search and destroy. There's already one there because I just, I just uninstalled it so I could install it again to show you. Uh, so I'm just going to say yes to that. And then you don't really need additional languages. You don't need skins unless you care about the parents. I really don't care. I just want to get it done and move on. Um, download updates immediately. Yes. Click next. Click next. And then I don't really uh, use TJammer, so I just uh, un uh, uncheck that. Click next. Click install. And then what it's going to do is this is the pro this is what it's going to download immediately. So it's going to download uh, some updates right now. Um, excuse me. So we're going to install these dates. Uh, SpyBot's a different program. It can get rid of other, and we're going to run SpyBot upon finishing because we want to. It's going to do some other stuff when you when you uh, first run it that I want to show you. Um, but SpyBot's a another program that uh, that removes spyware. The reason why you have two separate ones, well, there's actually three total. But Adware, you can scan your computer um, and remove the the spyware, but you can't protect it. Uh, you just scan it and remove it. Let's just click on this again, make sure it's coming up. I'm sure it is, but I'm just going to click on it again. Okay, so, uh, and what the reason why is because Adaware sometimes finds stuff that SpyBot finds and vice versa. So that's why you use both. Uh, and uh, SpyBot also allows you to immunize your system. And what that does is it protects your system and, and it blocks your system from, blocks the spyware that it knows about from installing on your computer. So that's extremely helpful as well. And the third program we're going to use is called uh, Spyware Blaster, and what that's going to do is that is going to uh, protect your computer. It's not something that uh, you use to scan your computer, it just protects it, and it, that has even additional stuff that it protects you from. And it's good to do a scan with all three of these programs uh, once a week, you know, once every other week, which would be twice a month, and that's bare minimum, I would suggest, for the average user. So, uh, but those are the three programs that we're going to be installing. So sometimes when you uh, install programs with, uh, when I'm running this program that uh, captures my screenshot, captures the screen, it takes a little longer than usual. Uh, here it comes. Okay, so uh, this is a message. You know, if you remove advertisements, robots, advertisement robots on this program, you, with this program, you may not be, be uh, may not be allowed to continue using the host programs. Read the license agreements. So they're talking about uh, certain programs that have you know, advertisements in them, and if this gets rid of it, then sometimes they might not be able to run. You might have to reinstall that program. Peer-to-peer um, -peer is a good example. Okay, I'm going to say don't mess, don't uh, do that again. Don't show me it again. Okay, the first step is to create a registry backup. What, the, what you want, you click that, uh, so it does the registry backup. You want to do that because in case, you know, perchance, I've never had this happen, but in case you have to, uh, you know, a spy bot uh, affects the registry in a, in a bad manner, which it never has for me, and I've used it thousands of times um, then you can go back by by getting the registry backup you can you can uh, get back you know go back in time with the registry backup but you all you also can do the go back in time with the XP system restore if you are running XP 
So right now it's creating a registry backup, and then once this uh, thing goes, this this next right here goes green, then we can go to the next step. Uh, and the next step, click next. Search for updates is the next step. So what it's going to do is going to search for updates. Right now we're just so you know we're using a. Uh, Search and destroy 1.5, that's the latest version. There was also Search and destroy 1.4, 1.3, we're on 1.5. So I usually choose uh, Safer Network in Europe. You know, it's in Europe, but it's still very, very consistent, uh, very fast. I usually check everything to get everything. Click download. Okay, so now it's gonna download everything. And we're getting, pretty much getting the, you know, the definition, the definition files that tells, okay, what's spyware and uh, the latest spyware and when it's gonna remove it, or, you know, what it needs to remove. And uh, over here gives a date of uh, all all these files, and you can see they're pretty pretty close. It says pre reapply immunization after this update is recommended that you do a full scan after this update. Uh, so we click OK, and uh, so everything's been installed. It all has a green check mark, and click exit. And this might take a little bit because it's installing the updates and everything. So once it's finished doing that, we're going to click on it. We're going to go to the immunize section. Uh, and what that does is allows you to immunize your system to, uh, from the, as I was saying before, SpyBot allows you to protect uh, certain software from being installed. So that's what the immunization is for. So we're going to uh, immunize the system for the, you know, we just did the updates, so we have to re-immunize it for, so it knows about the latest updates. So after we do that, then we would do a scan with this program. And this program has a scan that's, you know, not as long as Adware it usually takes, I don't know, say 15, 20 minutes, really depends on your system. Sometimes it's longer, but uh, that's pretty much the average. Um, and a lot of times it's, you know, find stuff that Adware doesn't, and it's, it's a very, very good program. This also has uh, an amazing amount of downloads for, uh, for this program. This is also very popular because it works and because it's free. So, uh, we're just going to wait for this to to finish going here. Um, yeah, pretty much. I've told you all about the spyware, and uh, well, what I can do is I can I'll just pause the video while this is doing this thing. Okay, I'll just pause one second. Okay, of course when I pause, it's uh, right away. It's it's available. Okay, so now we go back up here and go to next, and then now we're going to go to immunize our system. So we're going to go to immunize, and then there's going to be like a bunch of well, I guess we went to this section. Now it's doing its thing. So it'll uh, immunize a system. System. You'll see some like building blocks, some like bricks, building blocks, and it'll just uh, tell you that it's immunizing. So right now it's doing that. This is not what it usually looks like. You actually see the screen like we just did, and it'll show building blocks. But again, we're, I'm running the recording software, and also it's uh, it's you know it's installing, it's getting used to the uh, the new definition. So. I will uh, pause until it's finished. Okay, alrighty. So th these are the building blocks I was talking about. And now you can see the total amount is A1000, protected A1000, unprotected zero. So we're pretty much good to go. Um, but this did it automatically, but if you have to do it again, once you do it again, uh, you'll do it manually. And you just click on immunize here, right here. And then you click immunize here once. Um, you don't want to do it twice because then it'll start it and then stop it. And then you'll be like, well, this doesn't work. But it's just because you clicked on it twice instead of once. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so immunized mean, system, we just did that. Protect A1595. Click next. And we start using the program. So we're done installing. So now we're just going to do a scan with it. So we're going to click on search and destroy. And we're going to go check with problems. Check for problems. And it's going to do the same thing as uh, Adware. It's going to go through the system. As you can see down here, it's checking some, you know, checking 109,606 things. And, uh, and these are the things that it's checking. So the same thing with this. If it finds some spyware things that, uh, that it cannot delete because they're, in the, they're actually running, uh, which actually is not good because it's taking RAM away from a computer, which makes it slow. And that's one of the reasons why it's slower is because it's running in the background. It's slowing your system down, taking up resources. So uh, if that's the case, if it says, well, it can't delete it now because it's running so well you know we need to reboot and do another scan we do you want this to happen and then you say yes and then you reboot your computer and then it'll automatically start the scan as it reboots and it's the same concept it'll start you know start the scan before it fully reboots and then it'll be able to get rid of but you still have to tell it to get rid of the things and sometimes what happens is you and remember if you like the video go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site and also don't forget to rate the video even if it's a three or four it still helps 
So thanks, and thanks for watching how to speed up your computer by removing spyware part 2, and all you have to do is click on the link below to watch part 3.